I know of a brother who told me once that, you know, my business that I have, and it was a multi-million dollar business. He says, it's the result of a motor vehicle accident I made with someone. The two of us got talking and it resulted in us doing a deal and the deal went so well that we decided to go more and more. I said, what happened to the vehicles? He said, you don't even want to hear the story. Today they have a fleet each, subhanallah. How did it start? Because we made an accident. Now, today when you make an accident, they take out, well, I don't know about this country, but where I come from, South Africa, perhaps they would take out their guns and they would start screaming and shouting. One might fire in the air to say, you are this. Come on. Why don't you just talk about something else? You might strike a deal and you might end up also a multimillionaire with a fleet in 10 years time. Could happen. Allah allows you to meet people. For you, it's a coincidence for him. It's not a coincidence. Today, I'm standing in front of you. Not coincidentally. It was planned and designed by Allah. So don't allow things to sadden you when you know you have your Lord with you. Even if you're weak, you have your Lord with you because you know you are trying. People struggle with their faith. And they think they're the only ones struggling with their faith because it might be apparent that they're struggling with their faith. Did you know that sometimes those who appear to be very religious are also struggling with their faith in a bigger way? That struggle is between them and Allah. They will come. Don't give up. And don't allow your struggle to make you think that you are abandoned by your Lord and that he doesn't love you and that you are not worth it. You are worth it. You are definitely worth it.